From the actors clamoring to be recast to filling the gaps until a new hope, this is why Disney should do season two of Kenobi. Disney's already halfway there because the cast is really interested, especially Obi-Wan star Ewan McGregor. McGregor knows more than anyone that Kenobi's a limited single season series. If you're going to steal my parts and then sell them back to me, could you at least clean them first? as a courtesy. Nonetheless, he advocates for the return of the Star Wars spin-off franchise. After Kenobi wrapped up in June of 2022, McGregor's made it clear that he doesn't want to say goodbye to the titular character. Other actors for two roles, and there was like six actors, so we borrowed the Mandalorian set, and we went in on a Sunday when they had a day off, and they had a bit of their set and their crew were there. Obi-Wan Kenobi just yet. He says, Would I like to make another one? Yeah, I would like to make another one. Ewan's repeatedly voiced his satisfaction in making the first and only season so far, saying, It's nice to know that by all our efforts in making this Obi-Wan Kenobi series, the fans are gonna be stoked, not wanting to be outdone. And I said, yes, I think there's there's got to be a good story to tell between episode three and episode four. There's got to be some great story there. Actor Hayden Christensen also wants to be on the season two action. Hayden's made it clear that he loves being cast as Darth Vader and wants to do it again. So if the cast is putting all their chips on the table, what are we waiting for? Well, for starters, the creative team has been pretty standoffish. Series director Deborah Chow has let everyone know that the series was never supposed to continue. In the second act of a story where we know the first act and the third act, and you know what's going to happen to them. Um, so that was the most challenging aspect, I think, of the series, but it was also kind of exciting. So the vision they had for season one included the beginning, middle, and end. It's not all doom and gloom from backstage, though. Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy has expressed interest in fans getting another dose of Obi-Wan in their lives and says if enough people come out and make enough noise, they'd highly consider it. And if there's one thing we know about Star Wars fans, it's that they love to make noise. So based on that, we could see another season of Kenobi in no time. Speaking of time, Obi-Wan does a great job of telling this epic tale between the prequel and A New Hope. And for the most part, the story's really good. Fans did point out one weak point, though. Like how Obi-Wan or Vader could never actually kill each other. I mean, we do know what happens after the series. Despite the fact that the story loses tension in critical fights because the two have impenetrable plot armor, somehow we always find ourselves on the edge of our seats, trying to guess what's gonna happen next. <laughs> So the story does a phenomenal job of keeping us engaged throughout the whole season. Kenobi also explores the many relationships that Obi-Wan develops over the course of pursuing his former student, like his relationship with his master, Qui-Gon Jinn, who became a force ghost to help Kenobi for a while longer in the series. Well, took you long enough. Beginning to think you'd never come. I was always here. As far as the ending goes, it's up to the viewer to decide whether they love it or hate it, but there's no doubt that many fans, especially hardcore Star Wars addicts, are clamoring for an extension of the series. When it comes to Darth Vader, though, the highly anticipated showdown between Kenobi and Darth Vader was absolutely breathtaking. The former pals put on an electrifying display as they clashed across rugged terrain, battling it out in some wild and intense scenes. There's no way in hell anyone could walk away from the TV when those two share the set. That shouldn't be surprising, though. Whenever Vader is on screen, it's basically like a black hole has opened up, and nobody can escape watching the entire scene in complete amazement. On top of all that, fans see some of the best visuals and saber fights in the entire Star Wars universe. I mean, it better be if it has Vader and Obi-Wan going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. <laughs> The immersion factor also isn't something to overlook here. You really feel like you're an observer in the Star Wars universe, instead of just stuffing your face with popcorn on your couch. If we find ourselves in season two or an extension, what's it gonna be about? Let's talk about the storyline in the next installment. We can't gloss over the fact Leia knows very well who Kenobi is, and she carries that info with her her entire life. So she has to keep that bit of knowledge under the rug for his safety and the safety of everyone else, which ties into her message for him in A New Hope, when she addresses him so formally in the message in R2-D2. Princess Leia Organa, you are wise, discerning, kind-hearted. 
clearly many additional questions can be answered in a continuation. And that's a good thing, because there's a lot to explore. Questions like, what will happen to Reva? And what will the Empire do next? There's so much more we need to know, and Obi-Wan sometimes asks more questions than it answers. The show Rebels tries to answer some of them, but it's a big galaxy. Maybe Obi-Wan needs help again, or maybe he'll become the protector of the people living in the Tatooine deserts. The time of the Jedi is over. It's hard to say what'll happen in the second season of the show, or if it'll be as good as the first season. Considering how good season one of Kenobi was and the high bar that it set, fans will likely have high expectations for season two, and it might be difficult for season two to live up to such high standards. Speaking of high expectations, fans desperately want Lucasfilm to fill in the remaining gaps. So in the end, will we actually get a season two? When something is mentioned in the movie and TV world, it could really happen. It definitely wouldn't be the first time a one-off show end up getting extended, but the people in charge of making the show at Lucasfilm might need a bit more time to decide. We're just starting to get more of The Mandalorian. Be showing. It's my responsibility, Owen. Well, I'm his uncle. We talked about this. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father? So unless they jump straight into filming a new season four, showrunners might be able to spare some time and resources on a season two of Kenobi. For obvious reasons, cast members are really hoping to do another season. But first, the studio has to figure out if that's a viable idea. The Senate. We cannot let this become public. If Leia is discovered- I can't leave here, Bale. My duty is to the boy. What about your duty to his sister? In the end, the studio may choose to stick with only one season of Kenobi, even though fans might be upset about that. And when you think about it, season one had a great ending, so maybe it doesn't really need another season. With that said, there's still room for another story with Obi-Wan. At the end of season one, he's still pretty young, and definitely not the older man we see at the beginning of A New Hope. Come. They hid their signature behind a freight transport. The ship is on its way there now. I can't. She's my daughter, Obi-Wan. So unless he spends the rest of his time in a cave eating random bugs on Tatooine, there should be plenty of material and storyline to work with. If there's another season, though, it might be better not to include Darth Vader. Why? Because season one already explored Obi-Wan and Vader's relationship, and it would be better not to water it down. There can be no mistakes. You're certain the tracker is with him. But regardless of whether or not we get another season, no one can deny that it was so much fun to see Obi-Wan again. After Order 66, he started in a really sad place, but he changed, and this was done really well. If there is another season, it would have to be amazing to come anywhere close to the first, and that's a tall order if they don't include Anakin. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's why Disney should do season two of Kenobi. 